Hi everyone, my name is Cynthia Ng, better known as RD Chan online and at GitLab, and I'm here today to talk to you a bit about Single Source of Truth, or SSOT. At GitLab, Single Source of Truth is a subvalue which we consider important in order to have a single artifact for all of our GitLab team members, but users, customers, and community members as well. In TeamOps, GitLab's operating model, SSOT, is defined as a virtual knowledge management system with all information data, whether that be policies, objectives, workflows, and more. And it's an action tenant or behavior-based way of working of the shared reality guiding principle. There are many benefits to having an SSOT with a shared reality and for more practical reasons like lower maintenance. If you want to learn more, I'll link to a companion blog post in the description. In this video, I want to focus on practical examples of how we've applied single source of truth at GitLab and possibly inspire you to take similar actions. So when multiple people or teams want to reference something, it's common for people to duplicate that information. And while there are other methods, I want to cover common ways to provide that information to people without duplicating it. So one example is to actually generate information. On this product page in our handbook, for example, we list the product managers and all of their counterparts. But this is actually generated from a single data file. This allows us to generate other pages, such as the technical writing list of assignments and the support stable counterparts. Of course, other times, Written content is not easy to generate, especially if the wording is important. In, this, in these cases, you might embed the content. You're still using a single source, but then displaying the information in multiple places. So at GitLab, we use a website generator where partials can be included anywhere on the site. So for example, we have this manage stage introduction, which is then embedded at the top here of the overview page and which can be used elsewhere as well. Other times, information might reside in a different tool. So wherever possible, you can embed these too. So at GitLab, we frequently embed charts to show the status of key performance indicators. And you can see here, this engineering KPI has a chart from a different tool, and it links to where that tool, uh, chart resides in our charts dashboards. Of course, much, much of the time you can't generate or embed information. So you can cross-reference it with a link. The purpose of links after all is to point readers elsewhere to find more information on what they're reading about. So you make use of links to add reference to where people are looking for it and then let them know where they can find the information and therefore the single source of truth. Regardless of the tooling you're using, you're very likely to have a way to add a link, even if it's a different medium or different tool where that information resides. GitLab's product documentation is a great example of cross-referencing with links instead of duplicating content. So just one simple example is this heading about synchronizing users and groups in LDAP, and that actually takes you to a whole other page about LDAP synchronization. So the main takeaway here is to define the single source of truth, make it clear when something is not the single source of truth and then point to it, and do your very best to stick to it by not duplicating information. It's not always easy, but hopefully the examples I've provided give you ways to practice using a single source of truth. Thank you.